good evening one and all i shall sachin guru sitc oi yadra department etc all of you know about the today's word is the digitization word and we started the all the applications the running conditions that is the digitization application same using of that digitization we choose the one subject that is the digital logic design what is the digital actual there are two types there are two types of systems one is the analog and one is the digital but there are number of uh, advantages in digital applications in digital system are easier to design information storage is also easy accuracy and precision are greater same thing uh, digital systems are more versatile as well as uh, less affected noise by the digital circuits and number of applications are digital circuit applications hence uh, digital is the always better than analog but before starting of digital logic circuits we have to know the what is the basic number systems hence we choose the today's topic that is the number system that is the our heading of uh, today's topic number system. next what is the main objectives in the number system actually actually there are a number of types in number systems decimal binary octal hexadecimal another one tertiary uh, is another one type but the most of the times we are using the decimal binary octal and hexadecimal another one after that numbering system we are going to the ones and twos complement another one binary arithmetics means uh, here we doing the arithmetic operations subtractions multiplications after that interconvergence means how to convert decimal to binary binary to decimal octal to decimal all that convergence will become under the interconvergence and after that we are moving to the coding that is the code convergence binary code and decimal gray code excess code ascii code there are different types of codes this is the main objectives of today's lectures okay now we go to the next slide the first one number system we taken the here decimal number system decimal number system is it is a numeral system has the base is the 10 here is the given base is the 10 and it is the most widely used as compared to another numbering system decimal number system is the used most widely used in another system that is the given here um, the decimal the base will be written as an base 10 in numbers we take the one here example 800 by 845 how writing the decimal number system here is the three numbers means 8 multiply 10 raised to 2 because here is the three factors three numbers hence we are Mm, go to the right to left. Five we are given the ten raised to zero. Four B is the given ten raised to one. And for eight purpose we are given ten raised to two. Same we multiply the each number with base of ten. Eight multiply ten raised to two plus four multiply ten raised to one. Same it will be comes after ten raised to two it will be hundred. Hence eight into hundred, four into ten, and five into one. We got the 845. Means this is the basic example of decimal number system. All the numbers from rightmost digit position is ones position. Means when you give one ten raised to zero, we get the value. The decimal numerals it will be starts from a zero to nine. Means zero, one, two, three up to the For example, we take under 127 is 127 base of 10. It is also called as a radix. 
base it is also called as a radix or a base is it this is a uh, taken one example but it is the taken only from 0 to 9 same afterwards the binary number system is also positional notation numbering system uh, in the binary number system there are only two numbers each digit position is binary number represents power of 2 means the binary number system how it will be noted for example here given the example 101101 means how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 when you go to the right to left here 1 into 2 raised to 0 means we takes from the 0 onwards same for 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 5 and same here we calculate 1 in 2 raised to 5 means 32 into 1 that is the 32 2 raised to 4 whatever is the value but here is the 0 hence we get the year 0 and all the we are taken the year value 32 plus 8 plus 4 1 okay this is the comes by the using of binary number system I think all of you uh, learn in the uh, diploma as well as 11, 12 standard when in binary number system there are only two numerals one is the zero and another one is the one only two numbers are used zero either one but binary number system in decimal the base is the 10 but in binary number system the base is the uh, 2 that is also called a radix means it is the base here taken the example different of 11 there are base 2 there taken the 2 3 examples now we let to do the one convergence convergence between decimal and binary here is the given binary number 10110 this is the binary and we have to convert in decimal what is the process of that uh, decimal you go to the from right side to left side means right side how many actual five numbers are there zero is the there zero into two raised to zero same 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3 and you take the multiplication whatever the value you got the value 22 it is the decimal value it means it is a very convergence very simple convergence after we moving to the uh, opposite condition conversion between binary binary and decimal 22 we cross verify the answer 22 is the decimal value and we have to convert in binary means 22 base what is the binary base there is the two. hence 22 divided by 2 directly we get the answer 11 means no any remainder hence we are given here 0 after that remaining value what is the value remaining 11 what is the binary base 2 here 11 by 2 means we are taken here getting the value 5 but one value is remaining 2 divided by 11 means that is the 10 one, one is the remain hence the remainder is 1 after that same 5 will be taken here 5 divided by 2 we get the value 2 the remainder is the 1 same we process here means after in uh, binary to decimal conversion you take from the msb to lsb msb means most significant bit and lsb is the least significant means you take from the downward to upward direction last reminder is the taken here hence the value is the 10110 one, zero, one, one, zero. that is our answer and last last answer also 10110 one, zero. okay now we move toward the next number system hexadecimal number system hexadecimal number system the name itself says that base is the 16 the number system is called hexadecimal and each digit position represents that is the power of 16 in number base greater than 10 in problem occurs because there are more than 10 symbols needed to present the numerals for that number it means the sentence will be given after the 10 there are two two numbers will become 10 11 10 hence it will be gets problems hence we are given here Mm, wording that is a 0 to 9 and after 9 we are given a b c d here given 
hexadecimal since the hexadecimal is basic case, there are 16 numerals but after 9 we are given a b c d e f up to the f hence here we take an example 3 f a f means here is the value of 15 a means 10 same 47 base of 60 same we are taken here example hexadecimal to decimal convergence that is the hexadecimal value 25 h h also as well as you write 16 also means here we have to take 2 into 16 raised to 1 plus okay sorry by mistake here we require now 5 5 multiply by 16 we get this answer same you repeat the process from decimal to hexadecimal convergence for example decimal value 37 37 for the conversion purpose we have to divide 16 in 16 37 divided by 16 in 16 into 2 32 remain 5 hence we are taken here 5 that is the 25 the remainder is the 5 hence 25 is the our answer so very easy interconvergence numbering in numbering system binary to hexadecimal convergence and this is the binary value and we have to convert in hexadecimal number system uh, in, in a conversion we have to do the from right side do the four four groups for example here is the cursor 1011 same 1100 100 here is the doing the and hence i am given the different colors uh, you check this color 1011 means what is the value oh, here is the 8 4 2 1 means 8 plus 4 12 and that is the 1 means 13 in 13 in hexadecimal we are calling it d because after 9 we are taking a b c d means a means 10 b means 11 c means 10 and 13 means 10 here is the 13 here is the 2 and 1 means 3 here is the 1, here is the 8 and uh, 2 means 10 is ARD. After that same repeat process, hexadecimal decimal to binary. This is the given answer hexadecimal. Same, what is the value of A? You have to write as the same, 1011. Same opposite process of that. Binary to hexadecimal, hexadecimal to binary. Okay, next moving towards, this is the our information purpose we are given here a chart uh, whatever with the given decimal and uh, after that we get the octal number means every is six values we will get octal number for example uh, sorry my mistake we are using. this is the convergence values after decimal we get in the here octal values this is the tabular form it will be gets the how to find out the directly in chart as we are given here same after we are given here octal to decimal convergence this is the 37 it is the octal value here is the base 8 here by mistake we put here 0 37 base 8 means we have to convert in decimal means 3 into 8 raised to 1 and 7 into 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 means here we put in 8 23 is the 24 and 7 is the 82 means we got the answer 37 same we have to convert decimal to octal here we take in 31 we have to find out in octal is 31 divided by 8 8 into 3 we got 24 means here is the 7 remainder means we got the answer 37 Okay. See the convergence of octal to decimal, decimal to octal. Same in binary to octal. In hexadecimal, we are doing the four four groups because there are values 8, 4, 2, and that is the four groups. Here we octal is we required for only 0 to 7. Hence we are preparing the three groups. Binary to octal, this is the binary value we will be given. Go to the prompt right side. 101, we doing the one group, blue color, the value will be 5. Same, we prepare 3 3 groups and after that we put in the value. Same, the opposite condition, octal to binary, 
the answer is the 1204 same same you put the value here we take one example uh, 0.0001 that is the base means binary value you have to convert in decimal means whatever the given value left side uh, before um, point whatever the value that is the most significant value and last value that is the least significant means in previous condition we seen uh, right side no any digit in no any point in between the value in that case you are taken from 2 raised to 0 from right side but when you given point in between the value you have to take from the msb side 0 into 2 raised to 0 and remaining afterwards points you have to put the 2 raised to minus 1 2 raised to minus 2 2 raised to minus 3 same when you given in octal you have to 8 raised to minus 1 8 raised to minus same same okay and we calculate in it is a normal multiplication maybe gets the value means the answer of that 0 0.00 you got the value 0 0.065 that is the decimal value. the process will be given here 0 0.625 it is the binary when you multiply by 2 we got the answer 1.25 but the whatever the answer will be got that is 1.25 the one will be taken as an a right point of the answer and remaining 0.25 it will be carried for the next multiplication as 0.25 into 2 you got 0 0.50 and 0 is the taken as an a right answer and remaining 0 0.50 is the carry go to the next step that is the 0.50 into 2 same we process up to the when you got any repeated conditions then we will stop here and uh, we will get the answer same 101 hence we are getting one repeated hence we stop here hence we got the answer 010 this is the basic definitions computer word and memory units and the beat is an uh, abbreviations of a term binary digit and it is the smallest unit of information it is uh, either 0 or 1 and the byte is a string of 8 bits means the whatever the bits that is we require 8 bits then and then we calling the one byte is the basic unit of data updated upon as a single unit okay. and this is the computer word with the string of bits both sides as well as called the word length or word size is fixed or, or specified by the computer. This is the basic definition of beat, byte, computer word, afterwards nibble. There is the different types of words we will be using in computer language. This is the charts. It is the not uh, necessary to in your syllabus, but uh, it is the uh, useful for the your knowledge as well as in the competitive exams. What is the name of unit abbreviations contains bytes will be given one gigabyte means how many one gb what is the contents will be bytes how many bytes we are required one trillion close it is a septillion sextillion quintillion quadratillion trillion million thousand there is a it is a knowledge purpose we are putting the slide it is the useful quantity that are given here now we are moving towards the ones complement and two's co complement. Mm, complements are used in the digital computers in order to simplify the subtraction operation for the logical mind. This is the ones and two's complement. We will take the one example here. Here given one binary number <coughs> and uh, we are given convert in two's complement. We directly taken here example of two's complement because already when you take learn two's complement automatically you got the value one. This is the value you have to convert in one's complement. One's complement means what? Take the opposite value. Here is the one, then you take the zero, here is the zero, then here is two. Yes, whatever the given value, you have to take the opposite value. One then given one, you have to take the zero. This is the one's complement. And two's complement, whatever the getting value of one's complement, whatever the given problem, you take the first one's complement and add a one plus one. 
is 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 0. We give, means what is the process of truth complement? Whenever we give one problem, we first add, convert in one complement and then add one, means we get the truth That is the next one, rules of binary addition. All again on the basic uh, rules that is already learned from the uh, first standard is 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, and 1 plus 1 in binary, there are in 1 plus 1 in binary, there is 0, and the carry will be generated to the next forum significant means next bit. <coughs> Here is a taken example 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, here is the 0, carry will be generated for the next bit. There is the carry. Okay. 1 plus 0, 1 and 1 plus 1. Again, carry will be generated for the next 0 plus 0, 0. And here is the carry generated. So, carry will be as it is come here. Next is 0 plus 1. Same here, taken the different types of examples. Same. We go to the binary subtraction. In binary subtraction, what will happen? 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 1. Here is the we are not written here minus 1. Hence, we return here 1 and borrow will be generated for the next bit. When 1 is 0, it is straightforward. 1, 1 minus 1, it is straightforward. See. Here also we have taken an example. 1 minus 1, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 1, here 1. Next significant bit will be goes here. Okay, it will be generated 0, 0, 0. Okay, we are taken an example here. The remaining part from these onwards means multiplication, remaining code convergence, all that points will be seen in the next video. Okay, thank you.